Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Now it's ready to place my stew meat inside. You want to scrape the bottom. I have about a quarter of a pound of stew meat. Scrape the bits. I'll add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, stir it around. Looking good. You can see I scraped all the bits off. I have three cups of beef broth that I'll pour in. Once I pour it in, then I'll scrape the bottom again. So now I'll scrape the bits. Add a lot of flavor. To the stew meat, I'll add in one chopped onion. It's a rough chop. Mix it around. Now I'll go get my potatoes. I peeled and diced three medium-sized potatoes. So that was a quarter of a pound of stew meat that I sauteed, three cups of beef broth, one onion that I diced up, kind of a rough chop, and I have the three medium potatoes that I peeled and diced, bite size. I'll add that in. Stir it around. I'll add in one more cup of beef broth. So that's a total of four cups. Now I'll get my carrots. To my stew meat, onions, and potatoes, I'll add in eight ounces of diced carrots. Stir this around. I have four cups of beef broth. I'm going to add two more cups so I have more liquid in here. So that will be a whole total of six cups that I'm using in this Instapot. This way here, all the vegetables, the beef, the onions, everything submerged in the beef broth. I'll add spices once it's done and then I'll take some cornstarch along with a little of this broth to thicken it. So now I'll put my lid on. To my beef stew what I added was one package, it was a 15 ounce package of frozen peas. 
Once the stew was done in the Instapot, I just added in the frozen peas, mixed it in. Doesn't this look good? So now I'll give it a try. Oh yeah. And this beef stew was made in the Instapot that the Issa Brothers of St. Louis sent me. Mm -mm -mm. Really came out good. And this is my homemade beef stew. Enjoy.